Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file. It's a PDF and kind of fuzzy. And they wanted to know how they could get this uh, kind of disappearing or blend or shadowing. And I've already done it, and it's a lot easier. And I could maybe put a little bit more black to it. It's a lot more, it's a lot easier than you would think. So what we're going to do, whoop. We're going to get rid of the yellow box. There we go. And as always, this is pretty big, so I want to make it smaller. Now, I am going to, I don't normally do this, but I'm going to go to a bitmap and convert it to a bitmap, and I'm going to convert it to grayscale. Then I'm going to trace the bitmap. First of all, I'm going to see how big this thing is. It's less than four inches, so I'm gonna make my nudge factor five. I'm gonna trace the bitmap, outline trace clip art. It traces it pretty good. You can see some lines in there and I'm not worried about the colors. And now I'm gonna move the, the other one over. Now you can kind of see how the person drew it. And it that's about the only thing that I would maybe rewrite the font, uh, the text. It really looks pretty good. So what we need to do, we need to go up to object group and ungroup it. And now we're going to move the black over, black over, black over, the steer head, the nose. And I'm going to grab the, uh, I'm going to grab the pick tool, freehand pick tool. And I'm going to lasso all these and I'm going to move them over. All I'm doing is hitting my nudge. Uh, see, and we, we're going to get rid of that in just a second. Sometimes it's just, see, I've got some, we've got some ghost figures. All right. We don't have to get rid of those ghost figures, but we are. We're going to go to view and wireframe, and you can see the ghost figures. Whoop. So I'm going to zoom in here. All I really want is, you know, I don't even have to do that. Um, you know, you know, we, so if you ever wanted to do that, you could just delete the ghost figures if you just wanted that other part. But we're going to not do that. We're not going to worry about it. We're just going to delete this. But I, matter of fact, I can delete all that. I'm going to go back to my regular pick tool and delete all that. Now what I want to do is I want to get this shape, and you can see it's pretty bad. But if I take the Smart Fill tool, set on another color so we can see it, and I'm going to fill that in, and then I'm going to nudge it over. Now I am going to, this is on the original, it's really made up of lines and not, um, first I thought it was curved, but it's really kind of like straight lines. So that's what we're going to do to that. We're going to grab that. We're going to left click. We're going to right click on outline. And we are going to take away some nodes. So I'm going to take away these nodes. I'm going to take away these nodes. And I'm going to take away this node. Then I'm going to select it all. And I'm going to right click. I'm going to convert it to a line. Yeah, that didn't work too well. But we can, what we can do though Let's nudge it back over to our original drawing. And it's kind of hard to, let's take it, uh, make it in yellow. All we really want is that shape. So I'm going to take the shape tool and I'm going to add a node right there by double clicking. And I'm going to call that good. Now I'm going to move it back over. And I'm going to make it black. Now I'm going to take it, I'm going to smart fill it with, a, you know what, just a gray. Now I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do also, I'm going to take away the outline. And I'm going to get the interactive fill tool. And I'm going to go from top, from bottom to top, but I'm going to put black up top and gray at the bottom. And then that, this is where you can decide, you know, how far you want it to be. 
you know, how, how black you want it to be, how much faded you want it to be. So now what we need to do is get rid of this black. So we're going to take and just hit delete. No, take it back. I don't want to do that yet. I want to uh, left click, right click. There are three parts here. Left click, right click. Left click, right click. Now I need to know about how big the, this is a tire, about how big this tire is. So I'm going to get the parallel dimension tool and I'm going to go from there to there and it's 2.62 inches. So I'm going to take a ellipse holding down the control button and I'm going to make it 2.62 inches. And then I'm going to put it on my ring. Now I might have, and I don't, probably don't even need this, but I'm going to do it this way. 0 0.01. I, I set my nudge factor really low. And I want to get just the ring. And if you click on it and you see down there, you got red. So I'm going to just nudge it down where it's more perfect. Probably, yeah, we did have to do that because we need to find the center of that circle or that tire. So I'm going to turn on my indexing lines and I'm going to bring them in. I'm going to click on my circle and I'm going to bring the indexing line. Well, I'm going to get it closer and click on my circle. I need to get right there. So I'm going to grab it and have it stop at the center, bring it down the indexing. You know what? I might be able to just click on the center. Let's double click on it. Let me have to zoom in. And I'm trying to click. Yeah, that's not the center there. Ah. I need to grab that line and bring it up to about there. Now let's click on our line again. And our X is right in the middle. I don't know if you can see that in your monitor. Our X is right in the middle, so we're good. So now what I can do is I need to delete all these other parts. And probably the simplest way to do it is just take the virtual segment delete key and delete them. Your indexing line sometimes will stop it from deleting. Now these other ones on the corners that are touching uh, part of the drawing, we're going to have to change that a little bit more. You know, this looks really difficult and to me is, uh, well, I can't say it's easy. Now I'm going to take a two point line, or actually a three point line, and I'm going to stop that so I can delete that. I'm going to take, um, go over here. I'm going to actually use my three point curve line because this has a little bit of a curve to it, put a little bit of a curve to it virtual segment, delete key, and delete that. This one almost fully. I could actually use the three-point curve line and just, when you get there, just double click. I think there's one more right here. Now this has a definite curve, so I'm going to go about there and then curve it, try to stay inside there. Now I'm going to take the virtual segment delete key and delete that. Now, we don't know what this rotation is, but we can figure it out because we can move this. Okay, remember, I need to set my nut factor back to five. I actually hit it once. So I hit it back the other way. And there is our item. Now I'm going to control D and make a duplicate and then change the center rotation of the, the indexing line. And I'm going to manually rotate it. And you can see it's close enough to 12 degrees, so I'm going to go 12 degrees. And then that way it's divisible by 360. Now, if you ever have trouble selecting things like that, hold down the Alt key, you know, select it. Control D and make a duplicate. Rotate it 24 degrees. And now Corel will let me just rotate. I'm going to go ahead and do all the ones that are like in the middle too. Because we can easily delete them. So this one needs to be deleted. Now here's a good 
So hold down the Alt key, click off your item, hold down the Alt key and, and select that and hit delete. The other ones we're going to come back and fix. So the pick tool, click off of it, hold down the Alt, delete. Hold down the Alt, delete. Hold down the Alt, delete. Whoop. You don't need to calculate. The ones on the edges we're going to keep for right now. We're going to fix them. That could possibly need to stay, but I'm going to just delete it. Well, no, because it's going to be in the other part. Alt key, delete. Now these other ones, they're partially showing. So what we're going to do, we're going to select it, hold down the Alt key and select it. Get the shape tool. And let me zoom in a little bit more. Get the shape tool and let's just bring that up to there and then bring this up to here. See, it looks like it's continuing through there. So here, same thing. I actually have to click off of it to hold down the Alt key. Now this one's a little bit different. See, you can zoom in and go right back and it'll still be on that item. We need to take this all the way to here. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to select, I'm going to add a node right here. And I'm going to select, I'm going to add a node right here. And I'm going to select these nodes and delete them. These nodes and delete them. And then I'm going to take these two nodes, right click and turn it into a line. Now it actually needs to be a little bit of a curve, just minutely, so we can See, I clicked off of it. So click off your item, hold down the Alt key, get your shape tool, grab those two nodes, right click and turn them into a curve. And then when you do that, you can curve this up a little bit. I think we got two more to do. Hold down the Alt key so you can select it, grab the shape tool, and I'm just gonna go toward that line. Now this one has a little bit of a area showing, so I'm going to leave it. There's something right there. I don't know what it is. Delete it. That's the shape of the item. One more. Click off your item. Hold down the Alt key. And I'm going to click a node right there and then delete this node. And then I'm going to right click, turn these into a curve. And then I can bring that line down. We're almost done, folks. Now, all we need to do is take the Smart Fill tool, set on black, and we can actually delete our line right now before I forget it, or our circle or ellipse, take the Smart Fill tool, set it on black, fill that in, fill that in, fill that in. Now I've got some red lines right there, so what you wanna do is select everything and right click, no outline. It'll get rid of that line. I'm hoping that helped. I mean, you've got some, uh, I, I think this one's actually better. It looks like it's going away now in the other one in the original there is some um, white background if he needs that i think he'll tell me and then i can show you how to put a, a white background in that item which would be pretty easy you can see some of that trash we had earlier still there so here's here's the original Control G to group mine, move that over and, and there's the new one. So this is fuzzy and mine is sharp. Oh, didn't fill in the ranch. Oh, you know what? There's white showing um, only on that one. So what we need to do is just ungroup it
can take away take away the field by right clicking. Now, in this case, um, you don't have to hold down the Alt key because it's you're actually clicking on an item, and uh, the other. Well, it's just kind of hard to explain, I guess. But I I would consider the, it looks pretty good. You know, if you can find out what that font is, you can re definitely replace that font really easy because you already had the center. Just make it another circle and do text, text the path. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.